Hi, this video is going to cover the topic of how to put um, an F connector, such as what I have in my uh, hand here, onto a standard piece of uh, RG6 satellite cable, okay? So you can see anyway uh, from here, um, th this end here slides down onto the satellite cable and there's a, a threaded section here which allows it, uh, the F connector then to screw on to a port or a joiner, okay? Uh, F connectors are probably the most common type of connector used in the TV industry, and particularly with satellite receivers, okay? So I'm going to give a quick overview of um, how to do it. So the first thing, uh, there's different types of tools you can get. There's fancy little uh, snips that you can get that will wind around and cut the cable exactly for you. But the best tool of all is a simple, um, uh, a, sharp, a sharp set of snips like I have in my hand here, okay? So the first thing we do is we need to, um, the outside um, of a casing for the cable, we need to simply snip that off. So we, we're, go we're going to leave maybe about uh, 18 millimeters um, of uh, cable. So we come down that distance anyway, we cut it all the way around, and then what we do is we do a sidewards snip up the center. Let me take this off. So you can see on the outside, we have uh, the outside uh, braiding which is, it looks like copper, it's actually copper coated, uh, aluminium normally. And what we do here is, we just twist this around um, in a clockwise manner. And now we get the snips again, and we move a little bit further out. So we move out about four millimeters from there, and we cut around again. So we go through this inner insulation here, twist it off again, it comes off like that. Next, we come along and we get the F connector and we simply slide on the F connector like this. And we continue to twist it in a clockwise direction. So the same direction that we wrap the braiding on the outside, we twist it on here. And we continue to do this until when we look into uh, the actual F connector here, that the white dielectric there is level with the base of the F connector. Hopefully you can see that then. Okay, and then if we turn to the side profile here, you can see that we have an excessive amount of copper sticking out here, the central um, uh, copper core here. So what we need to do there is we need to reduce the length of that. The total length now is about 10 millimeters, and we want to reduce that down to about maybe uh, four or five millimeters. So I simply come across with the snips, and I just hold it, and I can just easily get a clean cut like that, okay? And if we wanted it then, we could actually get this piece of cable, for instance, and join it onto this other F connector here. So this is an F joiner. We can actually just screw this on here. Like this. And we have quite a good join. Now the reason that uh, F connectors are so preferred in the industry is that compared to a coaxial connector, which I'll show you in a moment, it gives a very, very low loss connection. It's relatively easy to put on. Uh, and they're low cost items, so you know, it, there's an economic advantage to using it. And luckily within the industry, they've come up with this standard. So it means that every satellite receiver you'll ever buy will use something like this F connector here, okay? Now, as an alternative to this, um, what could you do? Well, you can actually come along and use something like these compression F connectors, which we have here. And um, these are used in conjunction with a compression uh, tool here. And the idea with these is that it gives a much stronger um, connection onto the cable, it's almost impossible to pull these F connectors off. The disadvantage is they're far more expensive and you also need to have a special tool with it. Uh, there's F joiners to come with it and also then we have another couple in our range of um, connectors. Uh, you have a special quick uh, fit uh, F uh, uh, connectors here. Uh, we also have a hybrid which is to um, uh, join, we'll say, a, a, an F connector onto a coax or convert one to the other, okay? There's both male and female versions there. And then you have the traditional uh, coaxial connectors, such as you'd use with TV aerials and a coaxial joiner. So it's all part of a wider range of connectors that's stocked and available on tvtrade.ie.